Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we're going to talk about our HydroCore One Direction Circle. The One Direction Circle is very much like a heavy club two-hand inside or outside circle. Because the HydroCore doesn't have a high hand, there is no inside, there is no outside. There is only left and right in the HydroCore Circle world. Point your feet straight ahead. Turn the valve towards your body. Now we have our side to side swing that everything is based on and we are going to bring it up to our catch. We are going to rotate 180 degrees. We're essentially rotating from our rear leg, stand up, rotate towards center, rotate, sit back in the back leg. We are going to use our back leg now to drive the movement. Drive the back leg, pop the arms. Catch, rotate across, pivot, catch, rotate across, pivot, catch. The important part here is in the legs and the arms getting that propelling of the bag up. It's different than it is with all other apparatus as far as I can tell thus far. You flex your arm and then you pop it up. The important part is that your hands stay equal, otherwise you're going to get this weird wibble wobble across. If you don't rotate all the way, or you rotate your hands differently, when you pop it out, the bag is going to do all kinds of weird rotations, and it's going to be ugly. Great thing about the HydroCore, if it's pretty, it's right. If there's a bunch of ugly wibble wobble in it somewhere in the movement, either in the catch or in the pop, then your hands are not equal. Your hands are probably doing this or doing this. Figure out how to get both arms, fingertips equal, and get those arms to stay that way by pulling whatever the rear shoulder is back and firing the lat. Across the bottom, if your hands are moving at different rates, you're gonna notice the bag is gonna float weird across the bottom. It's pretty okay with a hydro core because it's made of water. Even if it's heavy and you whap yourself in the leg, you're not gonna break your leg. If you do it with a 25 pound club and you mess up and you clock yourself in the shin, you very much could break your leg. So the hydro core is kind of a nice apparatus to use to teach you how to do these things and make them smooth before you turn it into an iron implement. We are calling this a right circle because I'm going right at the top of the movement. Now, let's do a left circle. You should do both directions absolutely equally. If one side is ugly, do them both for the same amount of time and keep practicing until they're both the same. Rotate, I'm looking to my left. I'm sitting in my right leg, which is my rear leg. Swing it across, catch, 180 degree rotation. Swing it across, catch, 180 degree rotation, swing it across, and catch. I really like this exercise because it reminds me exactly of the first move that I learned in Aiki Jutsu, which was a carry. So the martial art that I originally learned when I was a little kid had come alongs, carries, and takedowns in them. And you'll recognize these types of movements from Aikido, from Tai Chi, and from all these other things. There are even inversions of it in judo and stuff like that, but in judo they tend to be a little bit harder. But this movement is almost exactly one of the fundamental movements that I learned upon which an entire martial art was based. So I think this movement is worth learning.